그리고 저는 한국말로 하고 이근 대표는 영어로 하시겠습니다. 그 통역은 적절히 하시면 될것 같고요. 자 먼저 말씀을 드리도록 하겠습니다. 지금 다 아시지만 켜졌어요. 자 괜찮습니까? 괜찮아요? 잘 아시지만 한반도 어, 저기 평화 프로세스가 중요하고 민감한 시기에 왔습니다. 이란 시기에 비근 대표가 4개월 만에 어, 한국을 방문했습니다. 그리고 방금 전 저는 저 비근 대표와 아주 좋은 어, 협의를 가졌습니다. 한미는 지금까지 해왔던 것 마찬가지로 긴밀한 공조하에 양국의 공동 목표인 한반도의 완전한 비핵화와 항구적 평화 정착을 위한 노력을 함께 지속하기로 하였습니다. 비핵화 협상과 관련해서는 비근 대표는 저에게 그 외교와 대화를 통한 미국의 문제 해결 의지는 지금도 변화가 없다는 점을 강조하였습니다. 그리고 협상이 재개되면 북한의 모든 관심사에 대해 심도 있는 논의를 할수 있다는 입장도 재확인하였습니다. 비근 대표는 비근 대표와 나는 이러한 한미 공동의 입장 하에서 앞으로도 계속 빈틈없는 공조 체제를 유지하고 협력해 나갈 것입니다. 중국, 일본, 러시아 등 주변 국가도 이러한 맥락에서 긴밀히 소통해 나갈 예정입니다. 감사합니다. 스티브. Good morning. It is a pleasure to be back here in Seoul. We are here, of course, to continue the pursuit of a way forward for our negotiations with North Korea. I just concluded a very productive discussion with my longtime counterpart and friend, Ambassador Lee Da Hoon. Thank you, Ambassador Lee, for hosting us today. President Trump, President Moon, and all of us who serve them have worked hard to keep open the door to negotiations with North Korea. It has been a long year, and we have not made as nearly as much progress as we would have hoped, but we will not give up. I have read closely the many comments from various North Korean officials over the course of the past month. We have heard them all. It is regrettable that the tone of these statements towards the United States, the Republic of Korea, Japan, and our friends in Europe have been so hostile and negative and so unnecessary. Most of these North Korean officials now know us, and we know them. They have met with us on numerous occasions, and they know full well that their remarks reflect neither the spirit nor the content of the discussions we have had with them in Pyongyang, New York City, Washington, D.C., Singapore, Stockholm, Hanoi, Pamunjom, and elsewhere. In their statements, much has been said about North Korea's end-of-the-year deadline. On this point, let me be absolutely clear. The United States does not have a deadline. We have a goal, to fulfill the commitments the two leaders made during their historic summit meeting in Singapore. Over the course of three meetings and various exchanges, President Trump has listened carefully to Chairman Kim. The President has stated repeatedly that he remains confident that Chairman Kim is likewise committed to this same goal as us. At the President's direction, our team remains prepared to engage with our counterparts in North Korea to achieve that goal. As I briefed the United Nations Security Council members last week, we have offered any number of creative ways to proceed with feasible steps and flexibility in our negotiations to reach balanced agreements that meet the objectives of both sides. And just as is in the case with President Trump, I remain confident that all of this is possible. I believe we can do this, but the United States cannot do it alone. Therefore, here today, 
let me speak directly to our counterparts in North Korea. It is time for us to do our jobs. Let's get this done. We are here, and you know how to reach us. We are fully aware of the strong potential for North Korea to conduct a major provocation in the days ahead. To say the least, such an action will be most unhelpful in achieving a lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula. But it does not have to be this way. It is not yet too late. We and the North Koreans have within our hands the ability to choose a better path. But as I said a moment ago, the United States cannot do this alone. Finally, let me take a moment to wish all of you here today and all of the Korean, Korean people the very best during this holiday season. Those of us who are members of the Christian faith will soon be celebrating Christmas Day, one of the most sacred holy days on our calendar. As always, it is our fervent prayer and hope that this day will usher in a season of peace. I hope all would agree with that sentiment. Thank you very much.